Dr. McCleary, can you talk a little bit about the benefits of krill oil? We hear a lot about, you know, the fish oil, the omega-3s. Is that a, a good alternative as well? Well, fish oil, what people think of as fish oil is, is fish body oil. They basically take a fish and compress it and squeeze out the oils that are in the body of the fish. And those are one type of uh, chemically determined omega-3 healthy fat for our body. Um, the downside of getting omega-3s, long chain omega-3s from fish is that uh, fish are at the end of the food chain, big fish eat smaller fish and so forth and they can concentrate uh, heavy metals which is uh, to be avoided. Uh, one of the benefits of krill oil is that krill uh, basically eat um, at the lowest end of the food chain, they eat the plankton that are the manufacturing plants for the omega-3s and their little crustaceans which are then eaten by small fish, bigger fish and so forth. So they're at the low end of the food chain so they essentially have no heavy metals and no heavy metal toxicity. The other advantage, there are a couple of advantages of the omega-3s from fish oil and those include the fact that they are a phospholipid so they don't have to be refrigerated and they're also more readily absorbed. We call that bioavailable so you need to eat a smaller portion of them to get what your body needs and the third advantage is that krill oil naturally contains uh, some very powerful antioxidants which not only are healthy for our bodies but they are preservatives really for the delicate fats, the omega-3 fats in, in krill oil. So there are many benefits uh, for cr of krill oil. And, and krill is basically right at the source of the food chain, right? That's Instead right. of having to go down a bunch of levels. Right, it's at the source of the food chain and it's a huge biomass. So mm -hmm. uh, if we harvest large amounts of krill, it's going to have minimal impact on the food chain and the environment.